How's it going YouTube? Varmin for TVA. And today we'll be diving deep into our top five best budget vaporizers of 2023. So stay tuned to the end to see which bastion of the budget bracket will bring back the bacon by barely breaking the bank. And stick around to find out how to win this sweet poster behind me. Starting off at number five, the Utilian 421 is an affordable pocket size vaporizer that improves on its popular predecessor, the Utilian 420. It features six preset temperatures, full airflow control, and a slick glass mouthpiece for flavor preservation. The vapor quality of this device is great for the price, providing consistent and smooth draws. And the flavor also packs a punch, as the mouthpiece doesn't inhibit my refined palate. Mmm, I'm getting notes of almond and a little bit of a mustache. <laughs> Oh, oh, I just swallowed my mustache hair. Now this four inch Phenom is compact enough to fit in any pocket or handbag. Did I also mention that the 421 comes in several dazzling colors? Ooh la la, cha cha cha. The battery on the Utilian 421 will last one day of infrequent sessions and about one hour of frequent sessions. But with that said, the widened availability of portable batteries these days makes the battery life argument slightly less relevant in 2023. Overall, the vapor quality and portability of the Utilian 421 make it a great commuter device that will allow you to ball on a budget. Can you tell I didn't play much sports growing up? Moving on. In our number four spot, we have an old friend of the vaporizer world, the Solo 2. <laughs> Ha ha, laugh it up, fuzzball. As you may already know, this device features an LED screen, a 3400 milliamp per hour battery, and Ariser's trademark all glass vapor path. The Ariser Solo 2 is best known for this feature in particular, which has its pros and cons. On one hand, glass can provide smooth vapor as glass has an extremely high melting point of around 1400 to 1600 degrees Celsius, making it perfect for vaporizers, which can never reach those high temperatures. Now I'm gonna level with you here. I took this tasty factoid from our vaporizer buyer's guide for those that are new to vaporizing. In case anybody new to the game would like to check out that post on our blog. On the other hand, an all glass vapor path runs the risk of accidentally breaking if it falls over and the connection to the body of the device can become loose over time. The chances of that are slightly increased by the top of the body being slightly thicker than the bottom, making it a little top heavy and more likely to tip over when placed upright. If you prefer a unit that's more portable with better vapor quality, a convection vaporizer like the Utilian 620 may be better as it has a glass mouthpiece that is more secure than that of the Solo 2. The Solo 2 is also known for its hefty 3400 milliamp per hour battery, which will provide about three hours of constant usage or about three days of infrequent usage. While this feature is useful, it also features a very dated DC 12 volt port. For the time, this device's features were more appealing, but these days I'd rather carry around a smaller, more portable vaporizer like the Utilian 620 alongside a portable battery that I could use to also charge my phone with. While the age does show in certain parts of the device, it's still a notch above its older siblings, the original Solo and the original Air and it's more than adequate enough to snag our number four spot. Cracking into the top three is the Utilian 620. Now the Utilian 620 boasts a sleek juice box style design using a rugged anodized aluminum shell. The heating chamber is made with aluminum and the stem is made using a borosilicate glass. This is a temperature range spanning from 160 degrees Celsius to 220 degrees Celsius, taking advantage of its convection helix located directly under the aluminum chamber. The metal helix heats up and sends air through the spiral, preheating the air as it enters your bowl. This helps promote better convection heating and even cooking of your herb. And it pays off considering how well the vapor on this device performs, with the benefit of the glass mouthpiece leaving my refined palate uninhibited yet again. Ugh. The large and bright display, automatic startup, lower profile, and quick heating time make the Utilian 620 a great hassle-free option for users who simply want a heavy hitting device that they can take around with them. I love watching the intuitive display as the device heats up at its rapid pace. So overall, the Utilian 620 will always hold a place in my heart as it's one of the more standout vaporizers I've used over my year at TVape. 
the convenience and performance make the value an obvious win. In our number two spot, we have the Zeus Arc S Hub, which is best suited to on-the-go users who are looking for a no-frills experience with their dry herb portable. It is the only third-generation dry herb vaporizer in the rankings, which also makes it a bit more expensive than other units in the top five. It is the best performing unit in the top five, but given its higher price tag compared to the others, we found it appropriate to give it the number two spot. The Arc S is the budget version of Zeus's flagship, the Arc GTS, which is among the best units available in the world for its quality and convenience. The extruder and arc pod system eliminate a lot of the hassle caused from traditional grinding and filling from your chamber, and users looking to commute with their portable vaporizer will find comfort in the simplicity and portability of the Arc S. The Zeus Arc S is able to pump out some serious clouds, especially at max temperature. In regards to experience, the draw is smooth and airflow is optimized when using the arc pods. The arc pods are reusable and made out of a high grade aluminum to facilitate rapid heat transfer from the heating chamber to the dry herb stored inside. They also feature paper lids that make it easy to tell when your herb is finished. The mouthpiece is also upgraded for reduced exposure of the silicone rubber to the vapor path, which results in an improved flavor. The Zeus Arc S Hub features a comfortable to hold anodized aluminum body, which is strong enough to survive frequent commutes or the occasional fall. Zeus also wins points here for using a more durable medical grade plastic mouthpiece, making the Arc S a more pocket friendly option for users on the go. The Zeus Arc S is extremely simple to use with its one button located on the mouthpiece used to operate the entire device. The extruder and arc pod system make loading and unloading this device a breeze as the entire system is extremely intuitive to clean. This is the unique loading system that lets you know that it is a true third generation vaporizer system. And all of these elements come complete in the package for a mess free and quick filling experience. Now if only heartbreak were that easy. Look, it's not you, it's me. But before we continue, as always, we have a brand new poster that we cannot wait to give away to one of you beautiful people. Leave me a comment with your favorite movie moment or quote from your go-to scary movie, and also make sure to like and subscribe to be eligible to win. You can even do it while watching the chilling conclusion to this episode. Apparently the scariest thing I could think of is a character out of the Munsters which is a reference I don't think anybody's gonna understand. We would also like to congratulate user Orion for winning our Rick and Morty poster. So make sure you get in touch with us via the comment section down below in order to claim your prize. And just like that, we have hit our number one spot. Our winner for budget vaporizer goes to Wookie Clone. <gasps> Look, if I don't give it to him, he'll rip my arms out. You gotta let the Wookiee win. Okay, now that he's gone, our number one spot actually goes to the Tronian Melatron. With a <laughs> With a unique max temperature of 240 degrees Celsius at such a low price, the Melatron extracts so efficiently that it will make its money back by saving on your dry herbs faster than almost all alternative options. Now this unit is best for those looking to enter the vaporizing space or for those who are on a tight budget but still want a seamless experience. This feature rich second gen vaporizer uses hybrid convection heating to cook your herb. The Melatron's chamber is made with anodized aluminum which uses a dual heating system to heat both the sides and the bottom of your bowl and cook your herb to perfection. I was able to get great flavor at its lowest temperature of 160 degrees Celsius and big dense clouds at its max temperature of 240 degrees Celsius, a nod to the incredible temperature flexibility of the Melatron. Now the body of this budget beast uses a brushed aluminum exterior with vegan leather on the sides to give it a little grip. It also features features three buttons, a home button, and two arrow buttons for dialing precise temperatures in. It also features a really robust OLED display, just the right amount of brightness to maintain excellent viewing angles. The design is simple and slick while staying functional, it's easy to maintain and use, and it performs extremely well. 
This places the Mulatron above better performing units as the price point and richness of features is something you can't beat. I think this is a great option for a first vaporizer. The high quality of vapor for the low price will make you feel confident in your purchase. And the Mulatron is a great way to get your feet wet in the world of portables. If you'd like to see our full list of top budget vaporizers, follow the link in the description to our best of budget ranking. And that does it for our top budget devices of 2022. Did you agree? Did we leave anything out? Did you order no the code red? Did you about. order the code red? You're goddamn right I did! Well then make sure you leave any thoughts, questions, and suggestions in the comment section down below. A lot of that rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't even realize it. And if you like this video, make sure you drop a like by pulling the string above your seat, leave a comment by placing the mask on yourself first, and hit subscribe and punch that bell while placing the second mask on your infant or child. I've been Varman, and to all my connoisseurs out there, keep on vaping.